the first thing to understand is to look at this problem of graph coloring and try and understand what this problem is. So if I phrase that problem, it is the problem of associating a color or a color label with the vertices, edges or faces of a graph while fulfilling a certain criteria. So the problem of graph coloring is that there is a certain criteria that is given to us, a certain condition that is given to us and while that condition stays true you have to color the vertices. It could be that we have to color the vertices of the graph ensuring that that certain criteria stays fulfilled or color the edges of a graph ensuring that the certain criteria stays fulfilled or stays true or color the faces of a graph while ensuring that that certain criteria or condition stays fulfilled. So it's it's having these two important characteristics. One, to color the vertices or the edges or the faces of a graph while ensuring that the important condition is true, stays true. So let us look at that more in more detail and see what is this specific condition that we have been given. So there are three different ways to color a graph and let's just identify them beforehand. There is this problem of vertex coloring, then there is this problem of edge coloring and then there is this problem of face coloring. We will also show you that how in the end edge coloring is no different from vertex coloring and face coloring is no different from vertex coloring. So all both these problems reduced to this problem of vertex coloring. But let us understand what these individually, what these coloring problems are. The problem of vertex coloring is to color the vertices in the graph in such a way that the two adjacent vertices do not have the same color. So this is the problem of vertex coloring. So we have been given the criteria and that has to stay fulfilled or has to stay true that two adjacent vertices do not have the same color. And what do we have to do? We have to color the vertices in the graph while ensuring that any two adjacent vertices do not have the same color. So what are adjacent vertices? Two vertices are adjacent if they are connected through a edge. So if I have if I have here a graph like this, then a, B and C vertices, then two adjacent vertices like A and B cannot have the same color. These are adjacent vertices. But B and C are not adjacent. They can have the same color because there is no edge that connects these two vertices. So this is the problem of vertex coloring. Find a way to color this graph in such a way that two adjacent vertices do not have the same color. Let's look at the problem of edge coloring. To color the edges in the graph in such a way that two adjacent edges do not have the same color. So here the problem is not of coloring the vertices but coloring these edges. And two edges are considered to be adjacent if they meet at a certain vertex. So example these two edges are adjacent because they meet at this vertex. But this edge and this edge are not adjacent because they do not meet in any common vertex. So that's the problem of edge coloring. Then there is this problem of face coloring. So if we have a planar graph, then a planar graph has regions or faces. Now the problem is to color the faces in a planar graph in such a way that two adjacent faces do not have the same color. So faces here would mean that if I have a graph like this, A, B, C and D, so this is phase 1 or region 1 and this is phase 2 or region 2. Now these two regions are adjacent because they share a border. So the problem states that these two regions cannot have the same color. So you have to find a way to color a graph in such a way that two adjacent faces, two adjacent regions do not have the same color. So these are the three different ways graph pro pro coloring problems can be assessed. One of the problem of vertex coloring, the problem of edge coloring or the problem of face coloring. Now I also wanted to share with you that in the end edge coloring can be reduced to be to reduce to a problem of vertex coloring. Let us see how is that so. So that can be reduced to vertex coloring. In 
our uh, previous lectures of graph transformations we had seen this transformation of line graphs what we had done there was that given any graph G we could take that graph and convert the edges to vertices and the vertices to edges so if E1 E2 E3 were the edges and they met at these vertices ABC then we could take a transformation and change this graph in such a way so that the edges became vertices in the new graph and the vertices became edges so the way we did that was that we took these edges and made them vertices E1 E2 E3 now E1 and E2 share an edge if they meet at a vertex so here E1 meets E2 at this vertex A so that means they have a line between them even also meets E3 at this vertex B so there is this line here and E3 and E2 meet at this vertex C so there is this line here so our vertices become A, B, C and the edges become E1, E2 and E3 now this problem of coloring these edges can therefore be reduced to a problem of coloring the vertices similarly we had also seen that given any planar graph right? if I was given any planar graph then I could take the geometric dual of a graph and the geometric dual of a graph was if I had a graph like this then for each region I could replace it with the vertex so this was the unbounded region and then if they share an edge we would draw uh, if they share a border then we would draw an edge between these vertices right and here the number of borders they have that's the number of edges we can draw so this was the way we converted a uh, um, planar graph to a to its geometric dual and every region became a face in the new geometric dual so we can see if there is the problem of face coloring then we can convert that face coloring problem into the problem of vertex coloring so this is the yeah, so in the end the more important thing is to understand this concept or this question of vertex coloring and how to look at the various possibilities of coloring the various vertices in a graph in such a way that no two adjacent vertices are colored in the or have the same color so that concludes our presentation uh, our, our presentation for today's lecture we will look at chromaticity in the next lecture and try and understand what is chromaticity